Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. Come back, little blackbirds, and sit on the wall. But they don't come back, do they? I'll be right back. Those were her last words to me. I'll be right back. She was going to pick up some okras for dinner. The sound of her voice has not stopped echoing in my head for seven years. That is how long it has been. Rumor has it she was crushed by a car. Some say she was taken. Some have even said she got lost and couldn't find her way back home. I'm Jaddy. Jaddy Sola Owen. I'm 17 and my life is meaningless. Socially clumsy, mentally unstable, and personally unappealing. I was 10 when my mom left us. No, she didn't die. She left, literally. She went out and never came back. It's been seven years. Seven years of me trying to piece it together. Seven years of me living inside my own head. calling like a thousand times mm-hmm I'm getting ready okay okay I ate leaving my house Philip Owen, my father, we don't get along. Such a vision will definitely require some innovation. He seems to think that I blame him for mom. I do. Mom was unhappy. Our life hadn't panned out the way she wanted after she had me. So she left. It's his fault that she left. He didn't do anything to help her. Anyone would leave. I'm not like everybody else. I'm genuinely afraid of losing people I love. Love. I wouldn't say that I have it in me to love. But with Liz, it is very close to that. She's the only friend that I have. She makes my life feel a little like everyone else. Some kind of normalcy. Liz and I met only three years ago at the grill. She just moved to the city and I needed a reason to get out of the smoothering house. So I was doing my homework there. We've been friends ever since. 
Least thinks I'm odd. I mean, that is fair. But all she does is embarrass me. Like when she pretended to have found air in her food so she doesn't have to pay. They had cameras everywhere, so of course we got caught. Or when she slid a love note to the waiter. That turned out fine. They are a couple now. It's fair to call me odd. I'm a loner. I avoid any form of human interaction, except for Liz. She's not obnoxious like most people. If it were left up to me, I'd live in a very remote village with plenty of books and never speak to another human ever again. I'm having the usual. What do you want? I don't think I want anything. What? You made me drag you out of the house to come watch me eat. I told you I didn't want to come. I hate you sometimes. Why are you reading the menu if you don't want anything? Oh, here comes that witch. Uh -huh. You don't have to be lost to our Elizabeth. I'll just come and say hello. Hope, we don't have time for your wahala today. Please leave. Don't you defend me, sis? Just go. Anyways, I have a date. Can you imagine that cow? You don't need to be afraid of hope. She's nothing. I'm not afraid of hope. I just avoid her. Hi. Hi. Hi, Can you give them an order? I'm famished. I'll have the usual. Ah, sure, sure. You want anything? Nothing, thanks. I'm putting the order on. You didn't tell me you was coming. You wouldn't have come. Third wheeling. I've always been the third wheel. Like when... Or when... Or like right now. You know what? I'm gonna go. Why? Just I have to do here. something for my dad. You don't even talk to your dad. I'll just go. Why? Did we do something wrong? The thing about being a loner is that everyone expects you to act like you're not. Some see it arrogant or maybe egoistic. While I truly might be strange and antisocial, half the time I am on an aunt within myself. Because I am in my own head all the time. I notice everything and I recall every single memory. I'm quiet on the outside, but on the inside, I'm a storm waiting to happen. Oh my god, you walk so fast. What are you doing? Since you decided to be a party pooper, I decided to bring the party to you. You are stubborn. Me, I'm stubborn. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to eat this food all by myself. You want food for me? Yeah, we can share mine. But since you're not hungry, I don't know. Well, you know, I suddenly became hungry. <laughs> so, 
um, what do you hope mean by calling you sis? She's always up to something. That, that is why I avoid her. She now has so many followers. Did you see? I did not go to the I don't really care. Can I have the rest? That's me being the bigger person. <laughs> I wish you could be the bigger person all the time. That can never happen. Liz is a good friend. I'm not sure I exactly know what that means. All I know is she's here. That is more than enough for me. She doesn't know about my intrusive thoughts and my fears. I'm afraid that if she truly knows how scared I am of losing her, she'd leave. I'm leaving. What do you mean you're leaving? I saw you're staying over for the night. No, not that. I'm leaving. I got accepted to school in Port Harcourt. What do you mean school? I thought we were both waiting for Lagos to come through. I know. Well, my mom has connections in Port Harcourt and they got me in for political science. And I think it would be a good fit for me. You know, I've always wanted to do something in politics. Chadi, I'll be back soon. You don't have to cry. I'll be back soon. I'll be right back. Same. Different. Same. People leave. That is the short and long. But I wasn't prepared to lose my best friend, just like I wasn't prepared when mom left for Okras that Friday amateur night. And when people leave, they take pieces of you with them. That is what kills you. That is the plague. Same. Different. But same. Dear mom, I'm not exactly sure why I'm writing you or how this would ever reach you, but something tells me if I speak to you like you were here, maybe it'll happen. Maybe someday you'll knock on the door and I'll open and you won't know it's me because the 10-year-old me left is now a young woman. Something tells me that you will try to pick me up, but you are frail. You've been through too much. You will tell me how it happened, how you forgot your way back home, how you got lost and decided to stay in a small town because like me, that is really all you ever wanted. No one looking at you or talking to you, you just lived. Something tells me that if I just wrote down the milestones you are missing in my life, or tell you how introverted I have become and how fast things are changing, you will come back home. Honey, I'm back. about Joyce. Who's Joyce? Oh, uh, Joyce, um, Hope's mother, um, Miss, Mrs. Fanana. Hmm? Yeah, I, uh, I, I kind of asked her to marry me. 
You what? No, I have been meaning to tell you that we've been seeing each other for some time now, but we've never had an opportunity to talk until now, so... So you asked her to marry you? I'm just taking this, Jade. Oh. Jade. Jade, hold up. Dear mom, dad is getting married. He's no longer waiting. He no longer cares. So when you get back, she might answer the door. She wouldn't know who you are. She might say, can I help you? And offer directions to where you're really going. She'd say, you've got the wrong house. She might even invite you in for a drink. Grape juice, your favorite. But she wouldn't know that, and you'll be too weak to tell her. Mom, that's getting married. She's hopes, Mom. And not the kind of hope that I have about your grand return, no. Hope is a bacteria. She is infectious, happy, beautiful. These have truly become a continuum of unfortunate things to me, to be happy and beautiful. Infectious, but that is besides the point. Mom, dad is getting married. It's been days since I last spoke to Liz. She has not returned any of my calls or messages. I spend most of my time in this room, or at the grill, or writing this stupid letter you will never get. This makes me think, did dad ever try to call you? Did he ever spend nights non-stop leaving you messages? Or did he just give up on you? Did he just let you go? Music. That's another thing I've been up to lately. I find that it helps me kill some in Hi Jade, I'm so sorry to have bashed in on you like this. Come in. Yes. I haven't reached Liz. I've left calls, texts, voice notes, and I still can't reach her. You haven't reached out to? No, I haven't. Have you? No. I'm not going on. I thought she didn't want to talk. Nah, it's not you. She left for Port Harcourt like three days ago after I went to the girl and since then I haven't, I haven't heard from her. Have you tried calling her sister? No, I don't have a child number. Do you have it? No, I don't. Are you guys moving out? No. Hope and I'm mom are moving in. I guess I'll just get going. Okay. I'll 
I'm so sorry to abandon it. I didn't have your number, so I couldn't call or anything. Um, it's okay. Are you still moving in? Mm. What's that about? Mm. If you don't talk about it, like it's fine, really. No, I'm sorry. This is just a little unusual for me. I don't usually have guests aside Liz. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. I understand that. So, my dad got married to Mrs. Falola. Oh, wow. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm such a terrible host. What would you like to take? Juice, water? Yes. Juice? Yes. Grape or orange? Uh, grape. I know this is your house, but you can sit. Of course. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. So, when are they moving in? Oh. Hope and Mrs. Falala. They're moving in slowly. I guess they're trying to sell their house, so they're just waiting for the paperwork. I know you and Hope don't get along normally. Talk of being sisters. She's not going to be my sister. Right, right, right. I'm going to try this again. Yeah, okay. You know, Calling her severally wouldn't suddenly make a line available. Yeah, yeah, right. W what if we try at the same time? That still wouldn't work. Yeah? Let's give it a try. Okay. They rang once and then disconnected. Really? Yes. Yes, yes. Let me try again. Well, I guess this gives some hope then. Good hope, though. <laughs> Not hope, follow up. Hi guys. Hello. Mom. 